Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to see one of the COBOL program explanation. So I hope you enjoy the previous session of uh, my JCL program explanation of nested proc. So okay, let me quickly go to the video uh, here. Okay, this is actually a COBOL program uh, which is uh, having some information. Uh, this is actually a uh, a returns calculation program uh, based on the client's age okay uh, okay we can see that deeply uh, give me a moment let's start from the beginning okay uh, to, from basic uh, we know that uh, the COBOL is having four divisions identification division environment division data division and procedure division identification division we have to mention the program ID this is what mentioned here and in the second we have environment division we don't want that uh, environment details here since and data division uh, data division we have working storage session file control session file control session is not needed since the input data set was not involved in this actually this is the program where the values are given directly through the session no input data set was involved in the jcl okay so we can directly write in this working storage session uh, okay okay in the working storage section we have a, a level one group item uh, which have a subdivisions uh, we are using an 88 uh, level since it was a flag for example uh, level 88 is used as a flag whether this value is s or no likewise uh, we are using that level 88 level 77 we are using here it is for the individual items it won't have any subdivisions like this group one okay i hope you understand the levels uh, if you have any doubts regarding levels uh, you can feel free in the comment section I, I will explain you on that okay see this inph this is the group item which will accept the data from the session of the jcl while submitting okay okay here we have a condition here uh, this value 1 through 18 if the age is lies between 1 to 8, 8 18 means he will be considered as a minor the second one 18 to 30 that should be a major the client should be a major and 30 to 40 is middle age and 41 to 60 old age 60 to 100 is a senior citizen as per uh, this is the uh, items we are using here and we have an individual individual item uh, called amount and returns this is for the calculation purpose which we are using in the procedure procedure division okay now we have a picture class uh, we have a picture class here triple nine it should be three digit value the age should be like maximum age limit won't go after i mean thousand like that right uh, it should be maximum hundred yeah three digits for that we have we are putting three nines and here yeah the amount should be a five digit value and the return is also a five digit value but we are using a decimal point here v9 so after decimal it can hold five digits like hundred dot one two three four five like it will take five digits okay yeah now uh, we can scroll down okay in the procedure division we already declare the variables at the top in the procedure division uh, we are calling a main para we, uh, okay main main para we will perform accept para compare and despair and stop run. actually the logic of the programs ends here we are calling this uh, other sections by using that perform like we saw in the jcl we use proc to call the other logics inside a particular step here we are just calling uh, some logic or functionality at the bottom here and we are executing this is actually the program ends but we need to call the steps not the steps uh, the paras it should be written below okay first we can see a okay we we will see this you will understand that perform accept para perform accept para okay first it will 
go through here this is the exit para and we have two things accept inph accept amount the amount pay uh, the the client is having and the input age these two two information we will get in the sysin jcl so we are accepting this okay age was accepted here okay the age was ac accepted here and if the uh, en the entire age value was not taken into action it will just see the see this input age it will see which under which session this age is for example if the client is having 25 years of age this is the one which is going to be selected as input age okay not the input age a, a minor major middle age old age senior citizen it's, it's a kind of s or no uh, but any one of the value will be selected based on the age selection from the jcl okay uh, i'm not confusing anything input age we are getting uh, it will fall under these things once some of the such items will be selected based on that priority okay amount it is a direct thing we for example 1000 is the amount uh, the principal amount should be chosen as 1000 and in this section the amount is 1000 was selected and the age major was selected if it was 25 whatever may be the age okay okay now the uh, logic here see accept para was completed the uh, information was accepted here and this uh, sorry the second thing you see that compare right here you are seeing that compare was selected sorry used so we have to uh, work with that functionality then the accept was completed the age and the amount was uh, i mean taken now we are going for the compare compare we will see this is the compare actually uh, the logics uh, what they mentioned is if minor means compute returns compute returns is equal to amount plus seven percentage seven by hundred this is the condition what we return if the miners will get these kind of amounts if in the next condition else if they are major they will get nine percentage that this is what written here and else if it is a middle age they will get the 10 percentage and next one if they are an old citizen sorry if they are an old citizen they will give, give 12 percentage of that sorry not the 12 percentage they will get 11 percentage other than that they will get 12 percentage this is what written in the last session of that thing yeah, that's pretty much okay i think yeah we are performing some actions in the if condition if else if else if else if and else okay, this is the last condition so if it is a minor they will give seven percentage compute you know right in the calculations uh, we will use compute so the returns the returns was mentioned based on this priority okay this functionality is completed and the last thing see perform this para these two things are completed per accept para and compare was completed the perform this para after that only the program will stop we can go to the disp para disp para is nothing just displaying the i mean the information the first it is displaying age what we we actually get the age through accept and the input age was taken here this is the age second thing is amount amount which is taken from the sysin and the display returns any one of the condition based on any one of the condition the returns will be calculated and dis, uh, displayed here this is actually this program explanation since it was our first video we am taking the basic example in the upcoming session we will see the complex programs related to i um, mean like perform uh, varying evaluate we will see all the day-to-day -day life programs and the upcoming sessions okay hope you enjoyed this video have a wonderful day guys